Hey guys, I'm Coco. Welcome back to Warcraft Leveling Adventure. We are playing our Alliance Monk level 83 now and we're going to Uldum. Hello, Adara. Let us go to Uldum. Indeed, why not? Um, shall we? Yes, we shall. No, no, shitty dwarf! No one runs the lady! I wonder, where did they get the lady? Huh? Where did they find the lady? Were they in Oldham before? I would say no, because it just opened up and there were no camels in other zones before, but sure. I just jumped through Ahoy! And through the wagon. Ahoy, my friend. Let's go. Let us continue on our pathway. I do like this um, carriage. It looks pretty damn awesome. Okay, hold up, here we come. Here are the first of the of the cat people. Winged cat people. Indeed. And here's the desert. You gotta admit that this looks pretty damn awesome. I mean my graphics are not amazing. But it certainly does look awesome. The little bits of sand on the floor. The nasty camels. Troll and two dwarfs in the back, and the nasty bastards. <laughs> I think that uh, hyena still has uh, quite some uh, old model. What am I doing actually? <laughs> right now, I think we got trapped by the little people who has weapons that are bigger than them. Who is the ugly one? Are you saying I'm the ugly one? If you're saying I'm the ugly one, I'm gonna smash you, my friend. I'm gonna smash you. Put your face in. It took me quite a while to actually fly down here <laughs> to to the cities to start this quest. But it's fine. It's alright. Dun 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 dun. Dun, dun. Okay, I don't remember when was the last time I was actually watching this. <laughs> I usually just skip the cutscenes, especially since I've seen them years ago. But right now, sure, let's watch it. It's taking its sweet time, and there's no one in here. Now we shall be. Why would there be a creepy doll in that here place? We have discovered Karthut's tomb. We're down here. I came in here. And we're now down here. Why am I outside? Game? How am I out outside? What the, what the what the hell is this? Okay, this is this is just wrong. Um. Well, I was supposed to be in one of the cages. Now I'm not. Uh, you know what? I shall cancel the recording for a second and try to reload this or something. Be right back. And I'm back, and I'm in the cage. So, logging in and out helped good solve that, so that's good. Have a good one. Let's complete the quest. Are you gonna get us out? Please don't break, please don't break. It's not breaking, is it? Nope. It's your last pick, huh? And you're out. Here comes the guard. Where is the guard? I don't see any guards. Oh, there he is. He just spawned. Right here. Next to that guy. I was about to jump him. Hey little kitty. Hide behind the Neferset throne and discover the secret. Let's do so. It's a good thing we can fly, right? Because I don't see these guys having any stairs to get up here. Nope, nope. More cutscenes. You are the last of your tribe with any sons left. As a reward for giving us Prince Naduna grant you the gift that is your birthright and more. You shall now be electrified. Your makers failed you. Your flawed race succumbed to the curse of flesh. Lord Deathwing's gift makes you perfect again. Little stone kitty. There's three of them. I don't see two. Uh, goody. Let's go away. They are kind of elite, elite guards there. This dude is still chilling here, Mr. Jailer. Very nice. Do you guys hear the sounds right here? 
the birds and the frogs and everything. It's awesome. Uh, sure, we shall kill and burn and molest children, rape old women, do all those kinds of stuff that people do in war. Just because you told me to do them. I can say, no, no, I didn't want to do them. But then my, my friends told me to do them. And I didn't want to, you know, appear a coward in front of my friends. So I went and raped that old woman. And then I slaughtered her innocent child. And after I slaughtered her, I raped her as well. So, don't you guys think that I'm, I'm a weirdo or a creep? Just saying things like that? Just, just saying what people do in wars. And we are kinda in war right now. Actually, we were prisoners. So we have all the right to rape and plunder and pillage and burn and steal, steal their armor, burn them their tables, because that is a proper revenge. That is certainly a proper revenge to be made. Don't worry, I'm aware that we are doing this because supposedly they won't be able to see us after we do this. Whoa, I didn't want to go here. Well, I did go here though. So maybe he's gonna give me that last piece of armor that I need. Yes, he will, and I can burn this, and we are quite fine. And I can go and abandon this quest because we're definitely not going back to their home. We are staying down here in Oldham. Another level 100 player. What are these people Hello. doing here? These people doing here? Safe travels. Safe travels. <laughs> yeah, safe travels, bro. You're in a cage, and you say that. I'm trying to save you. Uh, you don't have anything good for me, do you? I will take the royal reward. Whenever we need that. Free you at last, you reward with these substantial friends. This is the most moronic half ass ridiculous plan you've ever come up with, bud. God damn it, bud. I'm gonna kick your ass, bud. But I suppose it's the only plan we've got. I can't do this. What am I grabbing again? You're grabbing my ass, lady. Your roaches are not locks. No, I suppose with the smoke from the fire, so all they'll see is your silhouettes. Yes, so we are... <laughs> I'm a manager. You're awesome. Where am I here? Are you... Are you grabbing my butt? I don't see myself. Uh, but nice, nice holding there, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at them go. Oh, she's still stealth here. She is still stealth here. A very nice wizard. My immersion. Oh well. Oh well. At least we are now in Ramkahem. Ramkahem. Indeed, let's pick up the flight path. I don't think there's a portal here, if I'm not mistaken, or there might be hidden somewhere. I don't, don't think there is. Just fine, how much space do we have in our bags? Lots of space, so that's good. King Paris, give me your reward and I shall cash in this gold. Thank you, that's gonna be useful. And you want me to speak to a bunch of people. Certainly gonna do so. Who shall we do first? Up here, I guess that's fine. I guess that is fine. As per usual. Same old, same old quest. There's a quest here as well. Oh, it's the fire thingy again. Are you like gonna tell me? No. Hey, you're the one. How are you? I shall burn this out. blossom. Certainly. Wait. Did you, did you give me a quest? What can I do? Did I finish that quest already? Safe travel. I don't know. Well, never mind. Who cares? 43% done. Well, we're certainly certainly gonna be in this here place for one more episode. Yes, we shall bring you relics. Yes, we shall bring you antidote. And yes, you shall help me. Thank you. Let's do this quest. You, sir, are gonna give me antidote. Let's have some fun together. 
here. Probably need to click on you and drain your venom. Had you hit, had you kids, had your wife, because I'm coming to drain your venom. Let's say hi to this guy as well. Or maybe this guy as well. Mr. Outrider. Let's ride out into the sunset together. Shall we? We shall certainly do so. Do we get any relics? We got one. Well, I guess it's better than none. Make four. None from you. You know what? They're supposed to be searching for relics here, right? This Outriders. They're not doing well. I mean, if we can only find a relic per four, maybe five of them, that is that's some bad work, I would say. Well, there's our relic. We can probably one in two, maybe has it. Maybe one in three. Possibly. Hey, you, Scorpion, come closer. Let us have some fun. So, this guy doesn't have a relic, but this guy has antidote. I'm happy to drain it. So, as I was saying in, I think it was previous episode. Yes, it was previous episode. Uh, Uldum used to be my favorite, favorite cataclysm zone back in when the cataclysm was was the thing. And I'm still interested in what you guys think. Which was your favorite zone? Which was the zone you spent most time in? It's always nice to hear stuff like that. Really, no relics? God damn it! At least I can drain the venom of these dudes. Two more scorpions to kill, and quite some more relics to gain. Just this desert area is—it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Come. He comes well. Come on, tag him. There we go. This desert area is just beautiful. I remember flying here on the outskirts when I was uh, trying to get ore on my Death Knight. As I said, I leveled my Death Knight in here just by doing that, just by grabbing ore. And herbs, of course, but mostly ore. Just going around here. Hey, that character was not the only one I was doing this on. I did it in other other characters as well, but not like in leveling fully. But that that night, yes, I did level him fully here. Even though I kind of like that night as a class. But I haven't played one really much since, since I guess Northrend. I played my that night. I remember tanking as a frost, dual wielding uh, one-handed weapons. That was a fun thing. Sometime. <laughs> it was not like now. That's that just blood. Blood spec is the only one you can basically properly tank him. Yeah? Back then, all the specs were viable for tanking and DPS. Good, we got our last relic. That's nice. And that made the class fun. I mean, you could do a lot of different stuff. Especially the exploding corpses and the blood maggots. <laughs> and that was it. That was some awesome stuff. I don't know why did they have to take that away. But sure. I mean, I do know that exploding corpses, you can... You can have like a minor glyph or something that they still happen, but doesn't have any impact on the actual game. It's just there for visuals, which is of course not the same. Yeah, so it was fun back in the day. But since then, I haven't really played much my Death Knight in uh, Cataclysm. I leveled him just, as I said, by herbing and mining. That's all I did. 
in Pandaria, I don't really remember playing him much. I probably did gather some stuff on him, but that was that was it. That was the extent of it. Not even much. I did level him quite early in um, Worlds of Draenor. And for the first time in a long time, I actually did raid with him at the start. Uh, I was playing Unholy. Because I do do like Unholy, really. It's a, it's a cool spec. So I was playing that, but I think I think I I was pugging mostly the. Okay, I don't I can't remember. Heimol? Is it Heimol? God oh, damn it! I can't remember anymore. Place here, yes. Heimol, is it? I think it's Heimol. Well, I was pugging that at the start. I'm playing a bit, just having fun. But I never got any proper drops, so bugging got a bit annoying quite fast. And I did play my other characters, characters, and of course later on I did quit at that point. So yeah, I did play him a bit at least. So there you go. There you go. 66%. How much do I have on my timer? Three minutes remaining, which would mean that. Well, we'll have to be in here for like a half of episode more. And then I guess we go back. Back where we came from. We wanna do max hey quests. See you around. Maybe. Uh the king is saying shit about you, sir. Okay, let's go here. Let's go talk with no mark tenet i think there's a there's a daily quest here that we can actually do it's a fun daily quest it's one of those that i like you shall see you shall see indeed i guess we go we won't get deep into the storyline of all them which is unfortunate because it's a good storyline but we won't get deep because well you do outlevel the zones really fast. Uh, of course, I have rested XP. I have reverence of the flame. I have enlightenment. All the crap. And we shall do quests for you, but you shall do this for us. Now let's go smash this guys. See, that's why I like this this quest. Guess you smash it. <laughs> <laughs> the voices. Oh, I think I missed them. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you, you are quite special, aren't you? Quite special indeed, and you do spawn quite fast. One of the funniest races in Warcraft. You gotta admit that's the case. And we're done with the quest. See, that's the daily quest I like. Smash some pigeons with a huge ass mace and be done in seconds. Yeah, sign me up. Now let's go talk to the king. I'm not sure yet if I want to go to the tomb. Maybe I'll go somewhere else. We'll see where he sends me. 70%. Hmm. I'll probably go this way. The king sent us that way, I do know that. Since it's no different as on the horde side. And, and speak to the prince again. Oh, I should have said that the guy we rescued down there, where we were in the cages as well, is a prince. Rescuing a prince always seems good. Oh, is this a horde bonfire? Do I get a quest for that as well? Oh, goody. I should do more of these things. Oh, that flagged me from PvP, didn't it? Oh well, it's probably gonna go in like five minutes. It's fine. Yeah, it was disabled, so it should go. Should go away soon enough. Oh, now I know why the, all the level hundreds are uh, running around. Because they're doing the fire quests. Ah. Here you go, Coco. You solve your own mystery. There is my timer. 
So I guess since we are already here, I guess we can finish this. Slay Silence of Air, sure. And Under the Choking Sun. Suns? Sands. Rescue someone and find another dude. We are 84% and I think we'll do this next time. But for now, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe and I'll see more doing magic. And I'll see you next time. Go, go.